Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kyra here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the tier list that I made in a previous video. I'll link it up right here if you guys haven't checked that out. Also got Darth Microtransaction on here to discuss it with me. We're gonna be breaking down some of the logic on if these characters are in the right spots. Also, if there's any characters that need to be moved around. So the, the tier list is significantly different than what it was before. I think we definitely made it a lot better. And so the new link for the tier list will be down in the description. Check out the new one. This is the updated one. I'm probably gonna do this about every few months, uh, like update the tier list to, you know, if there's new characters, if there's new, new things people have discovered with other characters i think it's really good to keep this updated uh, as much as possible so it will always be updated but it will do videos uh once every few months or so i right, hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it all right hey guys how's it going so we got darth micro transaction on the channel what's up darth micro just another day here in the well pod studio oh yeah okay so i figured what better way to break down the tier list with getting darth micro on the channel uh and uh, help break it down like really kind of go in depth a last video uh really uh, i thought did really well we just i just kind of did a like a small breakdown of all the tiers but i figured uh it would be better to go more in depth and kind of break down the logic and why certain characters are in certain spots and then also uh edit the the tiers as well because i feel like there is some things that should change and these kind of tier lists will always kind of change as we get better at the game and so we're going to kind of break down some of the things we're going to fix with the tier list and then also the logic on why we picked the this tier list as is so intro okay let's get into oh, it let's see your tier oh, list let's do it okay so can you see it i am i have it up pulled up right here yeah, i have your imager okay so you have oh perfect okay so here actually let me we got the current one let me let me pull this up um okay so you see it okay so there is a couple changes that, that the people will see on the screen here so what we uh first of all we added queen eva so queen eva was not on the current list and so i currently have queen eva at the the demigod level um what do you think of that i think that's fine i mean she's basically used for a campaign farmer the reason i think she's potentially the best farmer in the game is because of the low the low amount of base requirements to make her one shot the waves uh you only need 214 percent crit damage and like barely any attack uh, as well as the critical rate, you don't need very high on her at all because her lead plus her third move both have bonus critical on it. So I think Demigod's fine, long story short. Other people can farm as fast as her, they just need much higher requirements. Significantly more. Yeah, and so that's why I have her above all the other farmers because like pretty much every campaign farmer on the list is in the solid tier. And so I figured right. she, since she's just so much better, like I remember I had Bellower and then you had Queen Eva. And right, the amount of yeah. gear that I needed to even come close to Queen Eva is just, it's an absurd yeah, amount ridiculous. higher. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, I do remember that. Because that would happen at the same time you were building your Bellower Rise, I got Queen Eva. Yeah. And so it's like super convenient if you get her. It's just such a bigger difference that, so I think she deserves just that spot up. I was thinking high solid just because she still is mainly a campaign farmer. And it's like, how much do you value like that gear difference? And so it's, it's she's borderline like low dimmy high solid in my opinion uh and i figured sure okay i, no, I think she's pretty solidly in dimmy but i feel you yeah, so okay. what's the what's the next change we have on this okay. list then? so Walk the next one the next that one. i was thinking so uh oh well, uh, first of all i guess let's, let's start with god and go down because i think the the list gets more controversial down with the usable and food tier uh just based on comments okay. and stuff like that and also uh, a lot of it i agree with so it's like i wanted to kind of discuss it so the first one I wanted to bring up was I'm thinking about moving Vizier up from Demi to God. And then the reason being is because he's yeah. mainly only used in one area in the game. I haven't seen him used in almost any other besides clan boss. But when he is used in clan boss, it's like literally like a team changing usage in clan boss all the way up to I mean, I think we could ar argue maybe the same thing about Hegemon in like the arena aspect. Exactly. Um, where Hegemon, you can use him as a, like a six second farmer, but he's also mm -hmm. an arena character. Yeah, um, that was my, and, and, yeah, to your point, that's my exact logic of why like Tormund and Hegemon are in God tier is because they're, they're mainly one, right. you know, Tormund can be used in other areas, but Hegemon is, you know, like, a personally, I wouldn't put Hegemon as a better character than like Ray, for instance. Mm -hmm. yeah, and so that, so it's like, I think why I have Ray, because like Ray is amazing. And then she's also arguably God tier. It's just, Hegemon like completely changes the game in one aspect, whereas Ray is solid in a few. You know what I mean, so like it, she's amazing in arena, but like not 
completely game changing. Like people like build immunity sets to counter um, Hegemon, whereas Ray is just a really good um, DPS dealer while also having the cleanse. And so, like we can talk about Ray. I, I think she's very high. Can I say God just because uh, yeah. the re is because she has the highest. Like literally the highest multiplier in the game out of any. She's tied sure. with Ethos for the highest multiplier out of anything in the game, uh -huh. um, which is her A three, and then her A three, you know, freezes and removes. So if, and I have yeah. her fully booked. I, I have two of her, but you know, I'm just nitpicking. Like I mean, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like oh, you yeah, can look yeah, at these lists like and be like, oh, Ray's better than this one. This exactly, better, and you know? I, I would I would agree with that. Like, I think you're selling me on it. I think the big thing too is because uh, I use Kaimar in Arena. Or I used to, and just the dispel alone is amazing. Uh, let alone being able on one of the highest multipliers, like having that combo of super high damage and being able to cleanse stuff like that. So she, I think she's she's right there on the, almost on the level of you know, you know where she's just really good sure. in arena, but also good in dungeons too. So for like wave clear, so I think that might get her uh, boosted up as well. So so back to Vizier though. So if we we'll move Ray up from Demi to God. And then also, uh, Vizier, I think, should probably be moved up as well, too. Do you agree? Yeah, disagree? he's probably, yeah. I would, I would say he's in there, because if Warlord's in God, then he should be in God. He should be Because I have a Warlord, and I would argue Vizier almost replaces... I guess Warlord's good, like, kind of everywhere, but the realistic aspect of Warlord is you don't use him in dungeons and in-game because you're speed farming, and he's a slow mm -hmm. guy. And in the arena, he does the heal first. So he freezes himself before the debuff happens. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer too. But he has a good lead for arena. And yeah, you can I obviously use him for arena. It's just yeah. you have to have resistance with using him, which kind of like counters the point of boy. So it's kind of, you know, it, he's he's yeah. he's good, but he's got like a few weird things about him. Yeah, I think he covers a, a, like a widespread. Like he's really good in spider, right. really good in... If you have... You pull it early, he's gonna carry you through a whole bunch of stuff. He's one of the best characters to pull early game. And so uh with him like him being there too, I feel like also Santa needs to be there too as well. Like so it's like Vizier. Yeah, I was Rain, looking Santa. at Santa as you say that. It's like um, and so it's I think like, Santa Claus is better, probably better than like miscreated monster. Yeah, so you know, like like there's just no way. Yeah, it's like with Santa being there, Santa just cover he has the same kind of coverage as miscreated, he, better coverage than miscreated. So there's no reason right. why he shouldn't be God. Um, Ray should be God. I would well. think we'd lure probably a move Allure down because I mean, Allure is sharing some pretty high tier picks. And then if we look in solid, we have a lot of like, let me put it this yeah, way yeah. I, I believe in no way, shape, or form is Seer a worse character than Allure. So it's like there's there's some ways I understand Allure is probably usable everywhere, which is probably uh -huh. what this list is based upon, but um. Yeah, she's probably not deserving of sharing the list with like Lanicus, the Chosen, Harvest Jack, Crutraxa, Kaimar. Yeah, she's kind of. She has gotten better oh, with her AI in like changes, and I and I've been seeing a lot mm -hmm. of people are cover you know like Fire Knight and stuff like that. So she, I feel like she is usable. I I do agree with you though that when you're seeing all these characters here, just how good they are, it's like Allure seems out of all of these probably the biggest um, outlier. Um, in my opinion, so I, I can see what right. You're and yeah, we're you know, it's mostly for me looking at solid too. Like I have a book uh -huh. Tomb Lord, I have a booked Robar, I have a Catan. You know, it's like a lot of these characters are, uh, I would say, definitely better than solid. If we compare against some of the people in solid, for instance, um, like Canada Friends, definitely in the solid. Like I have him, I would agree. Like Ethos is only in the solid, even though some people might disagree there. Uh, I agree with a lot of these, but there's a few legendaries in the solid we'll probably have to move up to as we go down. Yeah. So, okay. So I think we covered. Do you think before we get into Demi, do you think anyone should be um, in God? Removed? Do you think God is is? Are we good with God, or should we change anything else? Do you see? The only other one I was like considering is like maybe Shazar. I feel um, like Shazar is pretty good, but I mean, then it, eh, maybe I, I, not, um, maybe because like Ignatius or something. Like I have a Shazar also, and yeah, because like we both have uh, Lord Shazar, and uh, I have him fully booked. I use him a lot in Arena. Um, I don't. How about Royal Guard? Is Royal oh. Guard? I mean, I feel like Royal Guard's a better epic than Madame. I was, th ooh, that's a good point because like you know, I have, as a big fan of Royal Guard, I was considering him in God tier. I was just thinking since he has like he's almost useless in arena and he's mainly used as a speed farmer it's like kind of how much do you value oh well i guess i was thinking is 
when I was using him, I, once I got him to be able to speed farm, he was good, but I've never really used him to co clear Rest. something I couldn't clear. You know what I mean? Right. That's why that was going to be my point here is that yeah. Royal Guard both is for speed clearing, but he's also like, he's like a code hard. Like once you get him, things open up. Yeah. And uh, I think he's, he, I think he's a game changing character. He, he More than Madame. Like if, if, a, if a newer character, if like a brand new account could either pick Madame or Royal Guard when you start, I figure you would always pick Royal Guard. Well, uh, so... I guess like like as pros and cons of that like I would say because Royal Guard needs really good gear, and so uh, it's like the other characters sure. like that's why I like Miscreated Monster and uh, Saris for a new account because they need they really need that attack down they really need that defense down to do stuff. But then to your point, like having Royal Guard is really nice because only two characters can do that max HP like reliably. You know, so right, and so it's like uh, it, it's tough to. I mean, you could be together. stuck waiting forever. Whereas, yeah, one of the, whereas Madame is a good version of a good what version she does. of a character that you, you can literally replace her with a War yes. Maven. Yeah, exactly. Like, so we're on the same page there. So it's like, so yeah. in that case, then I guess, um, I the two epics that I do like in God tier are, you know, Frankenstein's monster and Skull Crusher. I like those. I'm two. okay with those. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, cool I think I think you are right about Madame getting demoted. Cause she is good, but she's not like she's good. I have one build, max booked, all yeah, that. She's good. Game. It's just she's not, you know, the best twenty character in the game. Yeah, and then Royal Guard is getting bumped up. Do you think? Because if Royal Guard gets bumped up, do you think Royal Guard's better than Cold Heart, or is Cold Heart also in God tier? I think Royal Guard is better than Cold Heart personally, because like, it's AOE nuke. AOE nuke. Okay. Because well, I I feel like they're both they both kind of serve the same. You know, purpose, but one's better in Fire Knight, one's better in you know, Dragon. So it's true. Sure, I think Royal Guard's better because he gets through the waves everywhere, yeah, anywhere that's not cover, Dragon. Yeah, doing dual duty where he's covering waves and he's covering right. Yeah, so it's I can I can see that for sure. And he has defense down too. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the turn meter manipulation too on his A three. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's I, I can see your point there. So he the, like if anything. Cold Heart's high demi. Like he, she just. I think she just misses out on that. I would, I would, I would see that. Could oh, get jiggy with that. So where's that him. leave us then? Okay, so we just. So I just got finished moving all the go, uh, god characters. We just demoted a man of Saris. Okay, so now we're on to demi characters, and so. Okay. So like, um, for these guys. Is there anything okay with most of these? Yeah, like I, I, I like this list to be honest. It's like I, yeah, I guess you got to compare. Right. Yeah, the God's good. So I guess, and if there's anything in solid that you think would be bumped up, that's kind of what I'm looking at now. Um, trying just peeking through here. I, I think the big one would be a lot of people would probably think Ithos should be solid to Demi. Um, how about Man Eater and Demi? On the uh, Man Eater, well. It depends on how you value Man Eater now that with the changes, because I'm like evaluating them after the the already they're talking you're about the nerf, yeah, purely dungeon, purely so dungeon. I'm thinking about here. Okay, yeah, I don't, it's I don't have a block debuff and the term reduction. Do you think? Do you think that's good enough to be demi? Like, because I don't have them, so it's like it's hard for me to. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, it's basically like it does Santa Claus's move, but then better. Okay, you so know, better and then it does 100 no percent turn meter reduction. So, okay, I can I can see that it's kind of on the same, like, you know. Um, see that. What about Seer? Do you think Seer should be bumped up? Seer is definitely a demi. I've used Seer like okay. extensively. Okay, so Seer and uh, she's my up. like fastest wave clear in almost every dungeon. Okay, so Seer's getting bumped up, and we got um, what, who was the what, one you're saying we just got bumped up? Oh, who were we talking about before? We were. Oh no, you're gonna. Oh, we were. We were oh. man either. Man, man either. Oh, okay, so man eater's getting bumped up. He's going up, and then now, uh, oh, there's a couple. Of, so Ithos, I, I want to like actually have a legitimate Ithos discussion because I feel like that one's controversial. But okay. I would stand, I would stand by the solid tier on him because it's like the other characters that oh, it's fine. Yeah, I think solid, like, solid. So like, I, 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 just I have discuss him. It. I, I have him. Um, he does the order of moves wrong. Does his A two then A three. Mm -hmm. Uh, his A2 doesn't hit as hard as you would think. His A3 is what he's all about, right? Because it yep. guarantees the crit, and you just use the crit damage. And I don't like characters that are all about AoE, like, nuke damage that don't have an AoE, like, on their basic, for the most part. Because unless it's somebody, like, 
you know, Royal Guard or something that's like doing something to the boss. But the problem with Ethos is he doesn't really do anything to the boss. And once you get getting through the waves are not really a problem. I mean, in Arena, he's great because it's going to crit. You can stack him with damage. Mm -hmm. But like AoE nuking can still work. But you have to be like really, really fast or not face torments or have a million resistance or just get lucky and, you know, or use skull crowns or something. So yeah, I'm not really cool. like... because So what he does well, we can both agree that it's arena nuking. But there's multiple characters that are better than arena nuking than him. Like, because it's... Um, like I think Ray is just purely better. Ray is like infinitely better because she has more utility, does just as much damage. You know, so you can argue that based on typing. One shots the skull crowns, yeah, like, like etc. Yeah. And but then skull crown is better than Ethos too because of the unkillable actually comes up clutch a lot. Like for example And you can also use her for the lead too. Yeah, lead bonus. Um the unkillable is like super useful. Like I've tried using other nukers, but if you don't have better gear than them, they're gonna take advantage of, they're just gonna kill them. They just it, they're so much squishier. And then like for example like Mountain Kings and stuff um it's really cool like you can have having that unkillable the mountain king will target her because she's weaker and she'll just stay alive whereas ithos would just die instantly and you need you know it says and then it's a what a fortune yeah, i mean i'm kind of on the yeah. same page like i'm not a i'm not a huge promoter of him i even booked his move and everything to see it mm -hmm. hit hard to put my best gear on him he can hit hard um but he's kind of like warlord where it's like yeah he does what he does well but i just how often do i need what he's doing you know oh, okay yeah so i think we're in agreement there. Uh, One other thing I mentioned about solid, just to chip in here, just okay. to nitpick a little bit, is I would probably move like Mystic Hand and Greybeard down to just usable because they are niche uses for potion dungeons. Okay, so we got our Mystic Hand. Let me find him. Mystic Hand's moving over. I, I think you're right. Like they, they are uh, Mystic Hand and They're right okay. next to each other. Yeah. This guy. Okay, so then. Boom, we're moving they're usable over. but only in like that dungeon okay and do you like the other rares i think uh like war maidens definitely there uh, oh yeah war maidens in the too. solid seducers in the solid i think grinder's kind of overrated because it's just a revive but um whatever i'm fine with it the, i mean it's i don't know, like but bo it books down to like something actually pretty good uh and then having the revive like i never had a revive until like later on in the game and it's actually pretty clutch especially when you're just so beat early i games. would think that if we're going, if we're looking at solid here, we probably need to move Whisper, Ultimate Gaelic, and Catacomb Counselor to solid, I would think. Okay, yeah, Ultimate well, Gaelic for sure. That was one that got addressed in the comments, and I completely agreed with him. Because, um, I mean, just, just being able to be, like, a contributing factor in Spider-20 is really good. Just like that alone. Sure. Right? Okay. Yeah, and Spider the Epic is actually pretty good as well. You think he's good? Because I've wanted to use him, but I never got a chance to. Like, what do you think about him? Uh, he's usable until you have a Draco Morph or Venus because he does, he does like the best version of that until you have, oh, you know. Okay. Yeah, he has that that move. That, that he's good. So I need to find Spider on this list. Are you? Are you Spider saying? is four rows down, fifth from the left. Fifth from, oh, from right under Whisper. Oh, I see him. Okay, so we got okay. him. And then, so are you thinking? So Whisper is going to solid. Uh, yep, um, and Ultimate Gaelic and Catacomb Counselor and Spider. Those would be the four that we're looking okay. at. There's an argument for like Crimson Helm too, but yeah, it's probably like, fine as is, and probably Elinaro as well. Is Elinaro the legendary? Yes, she is with the yeah, she is purple pretty, hair. She is pretty good. She has the uh, poison. One of the bomb, right? Yeah, she has the yeah. poison. Yeah, she she deserves to be uh, solid for sure. Yeah, she's probably in solid there. Okay, I'll edit this list. It's, I'm moving them over now, but I'll actually make it cleaner where the legendary because I like to have it like legendaries on top and stuff. But just for sake of this video, I'll have it. Sure. Later. Yeah. Um. So. Okay, so now we're pretty much mainly looking from solid to usable. I think that's a lot of good ones from from that side of it. I'm, I've looked through usable, and I think we've just about like looking through it. It looks just about right. Um, yeah, I think probably. there's gonna be there's some food characters that need to get bumped up for sure. Right, um, that's what I'm looking at now. I'm thinking that's yeah. probably where to go because I've okay. kind of looked through usable there, already. A couple, couple questions. I what do you think about Ghostborn? I was thinking about moving Ghostborn potentially to Demi, the Ghostborn, and maybe Crip King. Um. No, I think I'm okay with Solid. I, th I, I think I'm pretty cool with... She seems like a character that has her use, but, you know, she's like Candafran. I feel like Candafran's really good in Dragon. 
decent in arena, probably a little mm -hmm. underrated for those places actually. But um, you know, he's he's in the solid. Same deal. I feel the same way about Ghostborn. Maybe I'm wrong because I don't have her. Um, and but having really, an unresistable would be nice. Yeah, the unresistable part of it is like making me really like it. Um, but you know, like it's it's a very it's it's kind of like Madam, but not as useful because Madam has the like the cleanse too, and is you know void and stuff. So it's she does a little bit more. She has like a good passive. So it's like I feel like between the two, they're almost splitting hairs. I think nowadays with in arena having that unresistable is really nice. Uh, with how people are building their characters with resistance so it's like it's right there yeah i mean i guess i'm okay with it. i'm not like uh i'm not too like unresistable is cool i feel like at the point where you get in the in game unresistable is less important i think she, maybe she's a demi if you pull her early as the things that she okay. offers is less common but like, for instance, Toon Lord does the AoE defense down and attack down, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's a spirit. And I have him. He's booked and all that, so it's 100%. And he does, like, a 4% poison. And he it doesn't really get resisted. I mean, you know, I can put okay. 400 accuracy on him if I want to. It's not, like, that hard. It, oh. And, it, you know, it, it, still, it still lands. And then he has a poison and the same move, like, resets the turn meter. So it's, like, I think the unresistible is cool because if you pull him and you don't have amazing gear or you're in, like, high ranks of arena or something... That's really cool. Or if you're like progressing, you you know you don't have accuracy banners or something in Spider, that could be probably pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you know, I think I think you got it the first time, so okay. it seems fine. Well, I think uh, yeah, potentially overvaluing how good to have it. Like I think as your gear gets better, you'll start to realize that it's not that big of a deal. I think it is kind of like yeah, your, what that's you where I was going. Yeah, yeah, because it, it, initially I I remember back when I used to just not have accuracy banners on like there'd be certain factions where I just wouldn't have them, and then now being able to speed farm Spider Twenty, it's like it completely changes your perception on like how like a lot of the game works. Like uh, before having your um arena stuff completed, like having all the uh, uh accuracy bonuses in your great hall, and then also having like you know six. So you're starting to you, you, yeah first it'll be wow unresistible that's amazing, and then now it's like four hundred accuracy is like legitimately obtainable like pretty right. easily yeah so right. uh, we're on the same page. i think that's a good point so we'll keep we'll keep her there and then so let's uh so we got what's we've kind of gone through usable we got the last few of solid um is there any think, last ones in usable you want to poke through and see if oh uh, let's let's see um i'm looking at the legendaries i i'm potentially fully up to solid Depending on how this buff goes, yeah. yeah but the uh, buff is, oh, if it's anything significant, he's, he's immediately going to go up there. Um, same with Shamrock. Shamrock too. Shamrock's yeah. borderline like very good. Like I've seen him used in Ultra Nightmare teams, stuff like that, where it's you know, the three turn. Yeah, I've, I've I've obviously done a lot of testing with him. He's yeah. good, but he's really shines best paired with Seer. When you pair him with Seer, he's he's actually exactly. kind of crazy. Like he's exactly. one of the best in swap for Seer, but. Um, other than that, he's kind of, yeah, you know, yeah. he's ways. Yeah. We'll yeah. see how he goes. Yeah. And he takes buff. a lot of books. He takes a ton of books. He it does. shouldn't he affect the tier list, but still, it's, you know. Um, so let's look at the food, because I okay. think the food's going to take a while to go through, and we got a lot on this list here. Yeah, yeah so Sorry, let's, my laundry. Yeah, true. Okay, it's, it's all good. But, uh, okay, so, so I think a lot of, there is a lot of characters that were addressed in the comments, too, um, that I think should get bumped up, and... Um, is there anything that stands out to you before we get into well, it? Well, first and foremost, we say when we say food, it's obviously not food. You just hold it in your vault. Legendaries aren't food. That being okay. said, um, yeah, Basher's not food. Uh, Basher's like a pretty decent epic, okay. actually, in my personal opinion. Uh, I think Mistress of Hymns is like okay. okay and nice. Terror Beast is definitely good because if you don't have a counterattack, it's one of the only ways to like clear through Fire Knight. Is with yeah, oh, yeah, with, with the uh, yeah, reflect damage. Yeah, so it's like a right. niche, niche way to do that. Okay. True, a niche way. Uh, let's see. These other refined tours can actually do like five mil on the clan boss, but only with Frenzy Gear. Uh, let's see here. Karam okay, can so, 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 actually be decent happens. against the dragon. Okay, let's start moving. I, I want to move these over before you know, we get too far. So we were okay. So, so Basher. Um, Where's that? Yeah, located? Basher definitely should be usable. Yeah, Basher, if, like all the ones you mentioned are like definitely. These are usable. Yeah, we're going from yeah. food to usable here. And okay. I'll mention otherwise. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to, it's tough to find. Like, so did, give me a reference. Is How close to Vir Virgis are we talking here? Okay, Basher is top left corner of Virgis. He's on the first row there. 
Oh, okay. So here, boom, found him. Yeah, so he's moving over. And then... Yep. And then bomb left corner, Vergus, Terror Beast right next to him there. Uh, okay. Right um, next to Taurus, right between Shaman and Taurus. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, okay, boom. So we got that. It's definitely usable for Fire Knight. And then... Yep. And then we fast forward uh, a little bit here. The Karam can be usable for Dragon 20. Okay. Can we'll actually speed run with him. Okay. I... I haven't seen that. It... Yeah, you can do like a two minute run using him. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. And then. Definitely usable there. Okay, and then next row, we have Exemplars, probably usable, which is the second on the next row. Yeah, she, she and then, deserves a bump up there. And then Faceless, which is three more, four more over, right next to Drake there. He's oh, usable okay. yeah, for I sure. Moved. Yeah, Faceless is. Um, this is getting bumped up. There's been videos with him, right? Like, didn't Stu do a video where he was using I think Arena? so, yeah. But it's just his A3 is good. You can look at it. It's a pretty decent move. You can make an argument for Renegade if you really want it for the cooldown, but I'm fine with her being food. Okay. I'm so, kind of scrolling through these to see when the next one that jumps out is. Uh, uh, there's a lot of the rares. Like, I wanted to move yeah. Di uh, Diabolist. Like, I think she's actually pretty solid. Like, her moves are pretty, pretty good early. Uh, you get her all the time too. Yeah, yeah you'll build a booker or eat immediately. She's like you kind of double dip with the be able to farm twelve three, um, move her over. Uh, another one was the a lot of them. Uh, people are talking about that. This was like probably the most controversial one on the list. Was uh, um, I'm blanking on his name. He's the rare that uh, executioner. Which one? Oh, executioner. Yeah, oh, he got nerfed. Yeah. Yeah, he, he got nerfed. But then it's like. A Still kind of usable. I mean, I yeah, got him the five star in the beginning and used them and then flew them out later. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I did. I never got him to six star. I understand why people use him. I think also at the same time, I didn't use him to his max potential just probably because I wasn't good enough at the game. But sure, he could be unusable. I don't. I don't think he's in solid, but you know, yeah, next definitely to direct not star and stuff. But I think he's uh, um, he's in the usable. Yeah, because he's a campaign farmer can help you out with Minotaur stuff, stuff like that. So it's like. Those things I don't really value too much nowadays, but yes, yeah, it definitely deserves usable. Yeah, so it was definitely a miscalculation on he's not a character you want to. But at the same time, though, like you're if you pick the right campaign farmer or no starter character, I mean, then you're just never going to use him almost, in my opinion. Yeah, true. Yeah, so it's like if you got Kale, you know, if you got Aethel, like why would why would you build up this guy when you could just build up them and they're going to be better in clan boss? Because he's absolutely useless in clan boss, uh, he's really like, a, uh, like the way I look at him, he's like kind of a selfish character. Like he only buffs himself. He like a, he can like solo things, but if you like solo minotaur, it doesn't give you extra um, like a benefit. Like being able to beat it by one person or five people, everyone's gonna get the uh, mastery separated equally. So it doesn't really do anything. If it was like you beat minotaur and then everyone got it like it, all that mattered was you just beating it and then you were able to put all these unmastered characters then it would be kind of a cool thing to be able to just beat minotaur with one character but you know so that, that's kind of why i value him kind of low I'm kind of looking through your list here and seeing if there's anyone now daywalker can be kind of interesting actually if you okay. get him i think he's usable Okay, he's, a, he's up there. That's a Void Rare, I mean, If you right? get him early, he's, yeah, he's a Void Rare, so you can kind of pull him. He's kind of okay. Uh, where Do you have Paragon? Where's Paragon, Paragon at? He should be in Solid. Yeah, he should be in or, Solid, because he's dead. Or, or usable. Or use, so, yeah, I mean, usable, yeah. Uh, he's kind yeah. of a cheese character, but he's definitely yeah. using, usable would be the right word. Uh, yeah, for, like, Surviving Spider, stuff like that. Kind of cool. I have one booked and I was trying it out. It's actually pretty cool. Also, I think Stitch Beast is usable. That's probably the last one for me. I'm okay with the others being food without being like too picky about it. Okay. Um, I need to find. Oh, where's Stitch Beast? Stitch Beast is third row from the bottom, second from the right. Uh, that's that void rare, right? Yeah, right next to the chick with the ears. Yeah, okay, boom. We got Stitch Beast. And then we got, um, well, there was one more you said. It was Daywalker, right? Yeah, Daywalker. I think he's kind of okay. Okay. Well, where's the, he located? I can't find him. Daywalker is the 
Uh, he's kind of like in the middle, between, right next to Grumbler and the chick with the red arm that you're not going to recognize. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll find him. Uh, find him later. But okay. Is there any any closing statements you got? Anything else? Um. I think like it's still obviously not going to be 100 percent perfect because everyone's going to have their own like iPod. This character that's in the usable, but he carried me all the way through all the 20s because he's the only person I worked on. So therefore, he's God. So you're going to get some of those. Um, and, you know, there probably is, like, you have to realize, for the level of information we have, I have over half the legendaries in the game, and I have more or less played with all of them. Like, when I get one, I six-star mm -hmm. and mess around with them. And for the most part, you can make almost any legendary be usable anywhere. You know, but that doesn't mean that yeah, if I'm going to put them on a list that I'm going to have to throw them all in the use of a category. So therefore, you know what I'm saying is, yeah. is I'm cool with them being spread out. I uh -huh. mean, if I'm being really, really picky, I would say Tomb Lord. I, I would make the argument for Tomb Lord being in the Demi. Um, but, you know, other than that, I think I think the list is pretty solid, you know, pretty solid start. Someone can look at it. it and again, if you look at the list and you're a new player, if you see all the people in food and usable and you're like, he's not in the solid Demi or God, that doesn't mean you can't use the character because a lot of times you can get them to like level 550 and then food them out. So even if you have a food yeah. character, you may still get them all the way to five because it's not a waste and they can use them for a while and then you food them out. What we're saying is, the stuff in the food, you don't want to six star, put all your legendary books on, maxed out with your masteries, pay the gems, rush them, because they're probably not the best characters in the game. Yeah, and to, to your point as well, is like this is like an in-game tier list that's like trying to take into effect like every part of the game, like, you know, super high in Faction Wars, Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss, stuff like that. So some characters that, there's a lot of usable characters uh, or even food characters that, um, you mean, like you use for a bit and then eventually... You know, got better characters. Yeah. Executioner I used was yeah. one of them. Yeah, the I used Executioner fifty. Was one. I fed them off. My Cal, I don't have a Cal anymore. I used him, and then I yeah. used him as a chicken. Yeah. I used Cal for a long time. I mean, it's like just because yeah. he's solid doesn't mean he's bad. You I mean I'm not gonna uh, now that we're in Ultra Nightmare, you, uh, we definitely want to stick with like Demi and God category characters. But doesn't Allure mean, like, was even one of those for me too because I pulled like four of her early, so I just kept building her. I had like three of them at fifty, uh -huh. and I just stopped using her eventually and fed them off when I got yeah. something else. You know. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, hey, okay. I think this was fun. I think we hopefully this this fleshed it out a little bit more and kind of gave uh, at least my side of it. Um, thanks for being on. It was really cool to be able to talk with you on, about this tier list. And so, yeah. Hey, guys, you got to subscribe to his thing because he will text me when he gets like 20 subs. He gets excited. So you guys subscribe. Yeah. yeah no, hey, subscribe to his I, thing. I okay. get excited when people uh like my my stuff so i think it's really cool absolutely we uh, got, yeah. got give them the give them the stuff hey give well, them the things it. thank you thank you there so you well you guys have a good one and peace all right bye